All right, thanks for uh, inviting me here to speak. My name is Scott Schultz, and uh, I recently joined Mellanox about a month ago as the director of HPC. Um, most of you know me uh, from a long-term uh, uh, stint at, at AMD. So with the opportunity to uh, uh, join Mellanox, um, I had to jump on that. It's a very fast, high-moving company, very fast-paced, a uh, lot, lot of things going on. And they said, well, we want you to take 10 minutes here and, um, and, and, and talk, to, uh, talk to the crowd. And I was like, there's so much going on, what am I going to tell them in 10 minutes? So I, just, I, I figured I'd just pick three things and, um, and kind of give you a general overview. So, so Mellanox, for those of you who don't know, if, if you haven't heard of Mellanox, uh, we provide complete end-to-end -end solutions um, uh, for both Ethernet and 56 gigabit uh, per second InfiniBand. Um, we design the ICs, uh, we, we design the adapter cards, the, the switches and gateways, and then we also sell cables and, the, and, and very high quality cables uh, to maintain you know, the, the, the link uh, quality on the point to point connections is very important. So, so the cables is, uh, is definitely part of the end to end solution. Uh, Mellanox also delivers the host fabric software. Um, all kinds of different accelerator packages. It's not real clear up here, but there's a unified fabric management. There's Mellanox OFED, uh, as well as other accelerations uh, technologies like, like UDA for unstructured data, for workloads like Hadoop, etc. So a little bit about Mellanox in the top 500. Um, so InfiniBand has become kind of a de facto standard uh, interconnect solution uh, for the top 500. And, uh, if you take a look at the top 500, um, it's used in about 224 uh, systems. So InfiniBand connects 10 out of the uh, uh, 10 out of 23 of the peta petaflop machines on the top 500 as well. And it's not just the upper upper top 100 or the top 200. Mellanox uh, InfiniBand is is actually used throughout throughout the top 500 list and in, in the enter enterprise uh, HPC. Um, Mellanox FDR InfiniBand is actually the fastest uh, inter interconnect solution in the top 500 today. Uh, so out of those 10 uh, InfiniBand machines that are petaflop machines, um, all 10 of those are, are actually uh, Mellanox. So uh, that's LRZ, there's NASA, Los Alamos, etc. So uh, why FDR? <clears throat> so FDR is, is uh, 56 gigabits per second, and that's great. That's, you know, fantastic bandwidth end-to-end. -end. But it's also the latency. The latency is at 0.7 microseconds, and it runs over standard PCI Express 3.0. <laughs> so here's a, an example of just uh, four, four examples of uh, some, some benchmarks uh, comparing uh, FDR to, uh, to QDR. And if you take a look, there's a, a pretty, pretty diverse uh, applications here. There's computational fluid dynamics, there's Eclipse, which is an oil and gas uh, reservoir simulation, there's LAMPS, um, and, and you can take a look at, you can increase your ROI up to 32% across a wide variety of HPC applications. <coughs> So then I wanted to talk to you about the next generation uh, FDR, which is called Connect IB. And Connect IB is now kind of laying the foundation for the next generation and the architectural foundations for exascale computing. Uh, and Connect IB is, is, uh, it's, it's a, the world's first 100 gigabits a second uh, InfiniBand adapter um, over dual port, uh, PCI Express 3 uh, by 16 slot. And uh, it's not just all about the, you know, the bandwidth, it's also about the capability to deliver uh, you know, over 137 million messages per second across uh, InfiniBand. It's about 4x higher than any other uh, InfiniBand solution. Um, <clears throat> so another thing that, that kind of excited me about coming over to Mellanox was, was the notion of, of uh, with, you know, the scalability enhancements that's, that's going on trying to get us to exascale. Um, there's a new in innovative uh, transport uh, called DC Transport. So this new transport uh, service combines the best of uh, you know, UD and RC connectivity uh, in such a way that it limits the amount of uh, memory per connection as you scale out. So, so you know, back in the day when you know, the, f the first generations of InfiniBand and, 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 and moving out, um, you know, each connection uh, demands just a little bit of system memory. And so that was kind of, you know, limited the, the scalability. So with DCT, it kind of overcomes that 
uh, allows allows you to scale out to virtually un unlimited amount of uh, uh, nodes <clears throat> while maintaining just a very small um, uh, memory footprint. Um, so some of the uh, software that I talked about earlier, uh, MXM and, and FCA, there's a couple of packages here for uh, the parallel applications uh, for, uh, for MPI, Shmem, and, and PGAS um, that plug right in um, and be able to accelerate uh, and provide reliable messaging that's optimized across the Mellanox end-to-end -end solution. Uh, FCA, the fabric coll collective offloads, um, and all of this, uh, these two particular packages will move up into the Mellanox OFED distribution uh, in, in the next release. So then the third thing that really kind of excites me is, is the notion of GPU direct RDMA. And so we've partnered with NVIDIA over the last number of uh, years, introduced uh, GPU direct 1.0, and uh, how, how many of you today use GPU acceleration in your HPC environment? Quite a few. Okay, great. So, so GPU Direct RDMA is, uh, was previously known as GPU Direct 3.0. Um, it's now coined as G GPU Direct RDMA because you can transfer, do direct transfers uh, from the GPU memory from one node across uh, InfiniBand fabric to the other node directly without having uh, the CPU uh, get involved at all for, for, for the data copy, right? Um, the first generations of, of, of GPU Direct kind of eliminated uh, one memory copy by, by allowing both adapters to share the same memory space, the memory buffers, right? And it kind of eliminated data copy. So, so now we're working on uh, uh, what's called uh, GPU Direct RDMA, and it'll uh, allow one GPU to talk direct, directly to the other GPU over the InfiniBand fabric.